Hi, and welcome to War in the East. I'm Grey Hunter, and we're going to be going to this little scenario today. Operation by Kratian. Which will be played as the Soviets. I've got nine turns, and I've got there's no access player turn one. I've got to strike deep and conquer most of Belarus. So, yeah, I'm doing the small scenarios. It's fun. Let's yeah, spread his stuff around a little bit. Right, so the first thing we need to check is our objectives. We need to take Tenin, Dartu, Riga, Konigsberg, Kornis, Rostock, Warsaw, Krakow, Savok, Savko, and Nuigata. The big one of those is um, near Yasa. You need to find that on the map. Because that's what I should be aiming for. Once again, I always try and use the lesser keys. Or you think about playing the war games this long. No, that didn't want to work. Um, is there any map information? So it thinks it's not an Austrian. That's the German. Rostock is there. So yeah, it's taking these objectives here. Will prevent the Germans from gaining much in the way of um, points, whereas taking the red ones will gain me points. So, where is my forces? Yeah. It looks to be the weak spot, and I'll have to work around that one, but got some armored units up here. Good section of army units down here. No, it's a bit thinner down here, and then I'm not really going to be advancing much on the southern front. It starts at the top near Leningrad. Leningrad is going to hold. Nothing we can do about that. One of those can be moved around, so move you up for turn two, I guess. Okay. Interesting. I have no EV. Oh, my, all my points are going like on attack. That's interesting. It's going to be an interesting end of turn one. There's no German turn one, not no Soviet turn one. Oh, I'll see if I turn the sound back on. As this isn't a multiplayer game, it's not going to crash it all the time. Detections going on. And the gems are pulling back. All right, let's see if we can find any weak spots they've just created. You know, there were still 75,000 people died that turn, even though nobody really well moved. That's just game options, references. Right, that should be about right. Let's run some recon.
All right, I want to punch a little bit of a hole. And here comes the reserve pandas. Did not help them. Not going to fill up the front line. I want to bring it in a second. The unit. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Want to take that, but we want to put them off first. Bring up some artillery. So much artillery. There's our armored unit. So here we need to punch a hole. Definitely like that. No. no. Do I have any spare guys to move into here? Let's move this guy's infantry division down. There we go. Somebody find their space to get that one extra spare. That'd be nice. You can fill that gap in. You're not much of a fan for the unit, but. Open up the, the line a little bit more. What's that? Thank you. If those guys know they're gonna hold. Attacking that guy there was a mistake. These guys are just gonna be able to move up. What's in the next turn? Could be interesting. You know, you can smash a hole, would be great. Right. Our oh, units. Let's start a deep penetrative advance. Riskiest thing I do, I think.
It's the existence of that armored unit there, if it's a bit of ring. I definitely think my best option here is to lap up around the side. Threaten their flanks. And get in there. Removed. Keep the mass heavy artillery off behind them. I'm only trying to attack with the service back units first, but here. I need to smash a hole and then advance through it. I do a hole I can smash. Last of my memory will advance. Hungarian armor. Right. Now I need to shift these guys down here. Excellent. Unit. I need to put the to fog in my front. Right, right, Let's pull these guys to push up. See another option here. I mean, a lot of these guys still have got all their action points now. There we go, that's the movement I need. Yeah, a lot of the tanks hit. The infantry here aren't ready to move. So we'll just keep inflicting losses on them. I'm sure I've got the offensive capability down south. Treaty, I was not expecting that. Alright. I got myself some nice pockets. There's an armored unit there. Who can be thrown into 
this assault to try and make this one a bit wider. No, they held. Okay, let's support. Where's the first part of the roof on the front? Yeah, look down here, so. Use you to move off and support the assault north. Hit you across the river there. That's how it's worked, but it's worth trying. Got the artillery off. Next turn, there we have to salt. You guys aren't going to be moving. What have we got? Oh, I don't know something out of that square. It secures that square. I did not. Now I'm rather angry with myself. I did that, I must have moved them off afterwards without even thinking. End of the line as well. No. Alright, so that was a turn one. Not terrible. I'm still a little bit annoyed with myself. Lacking is an infantry unit, and that's where that. that's uh, how we go. These guys still at hundred percent. Anyway, you can call the retreat. Call the retreat. Oh, oh, that makes me feel better. And that's going to curse my own stupidity then for the end of days. Right. 
So yeah, thanks for watching. We've caused a good 30 or 3,000 for a lot of 61 our own. The next turn, that'll start swinging it back in our direction. As we start to bring these captured units back into the fold. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you'll like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.